Hello and welcome. Before we solve this logarithmic equation, let us quickly look at the domain restrictions. Now, you know that for this log term to be defined, then x minus 3 must be positive. So, x minus 3 must be greater than 0. And of course, from here we have that x must be greater than 3. Now, this is a constant. In this case, since 3x minus 13 squared is always going to be positive, then 3x minus 13 must not be equal to 0. So we have that 3x minus 13 must not be equal to 0. From here, we have that 3x must not be equal to 13. And of course, x must not be equal to 13 over 3. Now let us simplify the equation. We have log to base 3 of x minus 3. And this is equal to half multiplied by, remember that log to base a of b is equal to 1 over log to base b of a. So that simply means that we can write 1 over log to base 2 of 3 as log to base 3 of 2. Now, here, what we are going to do is that we will change the base of this logarithm from base 81 to base 3 to match these two terms. So when we apply the change of base formula to this, we have log to base 3 of 3x minus 13 squared divided by log to base 3 of the old base, which is 81. Now let us look at this denominator. We have log to base 3 of 81. But remember that 81 is 3 to the power 4. And also remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So log to base 3 of 3 to power 4 is equal to 4. So that means that this whole denominator is equal to 4. So now we can write this equation as log to base 3 of x minus 3 is equal to half times log to base 3 of 2 plus 1 over 4 times log to base 3 of 3x three minus 13 squared. Now, to get rid of these two fractions, let us multiply through this equation by 4. When we do that, we have 4 times log to base 3 of x minus 3. And this is equal to 4 times half, which is equal to 2, times log to base 3 of 2, plus 1 over 4 times 4, which is equal to 1, times log to base 3 of 3x minus 13 squared. Now, to further simplify this equation, we are going to apply the power rule of logarithms to these two terms. That is the rule that says that we can take up this multiplier and this multiplier to become the exponent of these arguments. When we apply this rule, this becomes log to base 3 of x minus 3 to the power 4 is equal to log to base 3 of 2 squared plus log to base 3 of 3x minus 13 squared. And of course, using the log, log a plus log b is equal to log a times b. We can write this right-hand side as log to base 3 of 2 squared multiplied by 3x minus 13 squared. 
and of course on the left hand side we still have log to base 3 of x minus 3 to the power 4. Now look at both sides of this equation. We have that log to base 3 of this is equal to log to base 3 of that. So that simply means that this must be equal to that. So we have that x minus 3 to the power 4 is equal to 2 squared multiplied by 3x minus 13 squared. Now to solve this equation, let us move this term over to the left hand side. When we do that, we have x minus 3 to the power 4 minus 2 squared times 3x minus 13 squared is equal to 0. Now, when you look at this left-hand side, you're going to see the difference of two squares. Because, of course, you know that 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. And in this case, a is equal to x minus 3 squared. While b is equal to 2 times 3x minus 13. So we can write this left hand side as x minus 3 squared minus 2 times 3x minus 13 multiplied by x minus 3 squared plus 2 times 3x minus 13 and of course this is equal to 0. Now let us simplify these brackets. We have x squared 2 times x times minus 3 that is minus 6x minus 3 squared that is 9 minus 2 times 3x that is 6x minus 2 times minus 13 that is plus 26. Now in this case also we are going to have this which is x squared minus 6x plus 9 then plus 2 times 3x is 6x 2 times minus 13 is minus 26 and of course this is equal to 0. Now when we simplify this we have x squared minus 6x minus 6x is minus 12x. 9 plus 26 is plus 35. Here we have x squared minus 6x plus 6x of course is equal to 0 and 9 minus 26 is minus 17 and of course this is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this quadratic expression. Since the coefficient of x squared is 1, all we have to do is to find the factors of 35 that add up to minus 12 and those are going to be minus 7 and minus 5 because minus 7 times minus 5 is going to give us plus 35 while minus 7 minus 5 is going to give us minus 12. So we can factorize this as x minus 7 multiplied by x minus 5. Now we can write this as the difference of two squares because this can be written as x squared minus the square root of 17 squared. Now this is equal to 0. 
And of course, you know how we factorize this. So this left hand side can be written as x minus 7 multiplied by x minus 5 multiplied by x minus root 17 multiplied by x plus root 17 and everything is equal to 0. And of course, you know that for this statement to be true, then either x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x minus root 17 is equal to 0 or x plus root 17 is equal to 0. And from here we have that x is equal to 7. From here we have that x is equal to 5. From here we have that x is equal to root 17. And from here we have that x is equal to minus root 17. Now, when you look at this last value of x, it is negative. But according to our restraint, we have that x must be greater than 3. This value of x is greater than 3 and not equal to 13 over 3. This value of x is greater than 3 and not equal to 13 over 3. This value of x is greater than 3 and not equal to 13 over 3. This value of x is less than 3. So this is unacceptable. So the three values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to 7, x equal to 5, and x equal to the square root of 17. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.